Hello YouTube! I am Pimstar, and this is Niche Strategy and Tactics, episode, uh, 13? I think 13. So, let us check out. We, I didn't realize how uh, far across the island we, our tribe has pretty much spread. This is kind of like the only kind of nook that we haven't really uh, conquered, and the only real plant that we haven't uh, set up camp on is, would be this one over here uh but for the most part we've got uh we've got things pretty well in paw here oh yeah we are all out of moves let us move along two births and a death that's pretty par for the course here uh did you actually hurt somebody mr uh bear hyena yes you did shona took a swipe at shona let me guess, you po- yeah, you're poisoned. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you take a nibble of a poison body. Not the smartest thing to do. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we'll have somebody come by to lick her wounds, but also see if we can't finish off this bear hyena. Well, one way to get through her, through to her is uh, just to kill the bear hyena. Is he gonna? Yeah, I think he's gonna die to poison next round, so we don't even have to necessarily spend the uh, the time to kill him. We'll just uh, we'll just let our poison do its magic. It's unfortunate Shona only had had the one action because that sleeping sickness. I don't know if that's a permanent thing. Uh, you know, whoa, 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 sickness. Oh, who's, who's our, uh, who's our inbred here? DF? Ay, 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 oh, no. Our first inbred. Nuduktko. Uh, who did I breed you with? Seriously, who did I breed you with? Yep, Irma Dingus and Ike Ferguson. That was my own dang fault. I played with fire and I lost. Alright, no, no, no matter. The fish came to me here. Yoink. <laughs> um, no, 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 no. Just gorge ourselves on the fish. Wait, you can reach all the way down there? Really? Okay. Alright. So... Yeah, we might, uh, we might get some misses there with the fishing. Did you seriously take drowning damage from that? Come on! You're way the heck out of the water! <laughs> Alright, I think we're just going to continue our march of progress here when it comes to just gorging ourselves on everything. Uh, Celestia Incognito, yes! Got our water body, got our claw. Uh, you are one of the good ones here. You get the Sam heck away from your infected uh, baby. Yeah, CI. It's not even worth breeding with him. Carl Dingus. Or I'm a Dingus, yeah. Can't have a Dingus breed with a Dingus. Oh yeah, our, our friend here, the ape. Let's move out of the way here. Oh hey, our first, uh, um, uh, our first uh, stinky tail here. Our first stinky tail. All right, and as the possessor of a brand new gene. Um, you, my friend, are going to get a special name. 
count uh, Count Michael Ferguson. There we go. Oh wait, Michael. Hang on. Michael the second. Since this will be uh, your second incarnation, congratulations. All right, well, let's see how you are otherwise. You got the big ears, you got the ram horns, you got the big nose. Um, double runner legs, probably the only weakness here. And even then, that's not that bad. Oh, and you got the uh, hemophilia. That seems to have crept into our bloodline here, but we'll have to make do. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, all these other guys are heat scorched. Oh, are you? Oh, yeah, Rassy. Um, medium ears, derp snow. Oh, yeah, Rassy's almost dead, though, from old age. So I'm not even going to bother inviting Rassy in here. And besides, Rassy's been gorging. Ah, Rassy's been. I, that's what that chomping is. That's Rassy eating all the freaking fruit. God damn you, Rassy. I should eat you. Oh yeah, these two are destined breeders here once uh, once Beth Dollop uh, becomes of age. <laughs> eh, I'm not even gonna bother. Just gonna clear away stuff. And yeah, let's make sure we're the ones eating the freaking fruit. Oh, oh, that's one of the uh, green-scented ones, because it's full of one of our creatures. Well, yeah, we're not going to bother it. What I am going to do is, for eventually when we migrate, I'm going to start carving a path to our eventual exit node here, just to make it easier once I'm ready to start gathering travelers. Uh, we could use some... Oh, actually, no. We've got plenty of plenty of people to... Uh... Dope. Alright. Aramidingus. Who are you mating with? Carl Dingus. That's no good. Dessert ice cream's no good because you've got the... got the ears. Dace. Chester, not so good. You have, uh, do you have some weaponry on you? You don't. You're just a berry farmer. Hey, we actually got it. Uh, let's... Oh, I didn't mean to repair it. I meant to collect it. Oh, never mind. Yeah, we keep getting all, all these fish. All these fish. That's going to be our ticket to the good life right here. Here, we'll shake down some more nuts for our uh, Cracker Jaw to uh, go at it. Should move them away. Inky Albino. Oh yeah, you need to be up here so you can start getting that. Are you, uh, are you good, Inky? Yeah, Inky, I'll buy all Cracker Jaw, Toxic Body, Runner Leg, Nimble Fingers do I have? I don't have genes to find for you, but you are a good specimen. Um, yeah, let's get more of those stinky tails flow in here. Maybe a stinky tail, uh, plus... Yeah, because we've got the Nimble Fingers. I wouldn't mind. We could do double nimble plus stinky. Well, now we need to be a little bit more aggressive with stinky tail to get it more flowing through our gene pool. There we go. 
I be nubs? Yeah, see, you got some good stuff too. Yeah, I don't want to move you too far away because uh, we do need someone to camp some trees. Although we could use a little reinforcements down here to help with uh, help harvest this, despite the uh, since the apes kind of whittling away on our on our uh, creatures here. And we also need to get someone over here to uh, start. Oh, how about you, Brody Ferguson? Yeah, we'll have you. Yep, go along here, do some dabbling when appropriate. Gotta get them. Gotta get them dabbles in. Oh, hey, Maris, you're new here. Oh wait, no, I think I evaluated last episode. Yeah, you had you had the digging paw and the velvet paw and the inactive fishing tail, uh, which all look very good. Um, but you had you were nearsighted. Actually, you wouldn't be a bad uh, a bad joiner for. For our aquatic tribe. F I C F C F C I. Alright, no, you don't your immunity genes don't really fill some of the gaps that our aquatic tribe is experiencing right now. So maybe not so much. Alright, that's everybody. <laughs> Yep, poison. <laughs> poison did it. A little, a little, uh, a little poison will do it. Oh wait, yeah. Let's make sure we eat this meat ourselves, so our wanderer does not uh, does not help themselves to it. Let's lick those wounds. Uh, see, I. DC, never mind. And let's see, I think, no, those are runner legs. I should have had Shona do the pouncing. CA, DC, CI, yeah, too much with the C's here. Oh! What in the Sam heck are you doing here, monkey man? Do we have a second ape? We do have a second ape. And it's another freaking hearing ape! Ugh! Another bloody hearing ape. Now we'll take some, some uh, drowning damage so we can get some dabbles in. You can still probably wallop them from the sidelines there. Well, lovely. We've got double monkey. Oop, someone died there. Oh, yeah. There we go. Get our uh, alpha breeding couple uh, up here in here. not. We'll just start clearing away the grass here, see if we can get some extra nest materials. Alright, Michael the second here. Uh, now what other stats do you have? Not too bad. Again, double rudder legs not the ideal, but we've got some other goodies to our names. Yeah, you got punched in the face several times. Uh, but we are not, uh, we're not sacrificing one of our uh, dabblers here. These guys just barely need to move. Yoink. Yoink. Do we have any dabbles around here? I don't see any dabbles, but that's okay. 
Just the amount of food we're getting just from that alone is quite impressive. Eh, we'll take take nesting material and get some more fish. I'll take a swing at them. Hey, kick tick. Uh let's see, you got the you got the cracker jaw. Uh but you also got the big ears. You'll be you'll be good to hang out by the tree. And you, you little uh, disease-ridden varmint, are um, you're gonna go for you're gonna go for a swim and die. Oh hey, do we have? No, we don't have enough to kill the wabbit. Wabbit kill, wabbit, wabbit. Kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit. I'd say we're pretty close to getting the breeds that we want. I'm already really happy with our um, with our aquatic tribe. I just need a really solid breeding pair, uh, and then we can probably grab the best breeding pair that we have for uh, um, for our land-based tribe uh, plus one more, who might be good for either side, uh, and make our way to the northern jungle. So probably in an episode or two. Uh, Irma Dingus. Yeah, might as well get as many of these berries as we can, because that's the other thing we're going to want to do, um, is stock up. Irma Dingus, you were going to breed with somebody around here, if I am not mistaken. But we're not doing... Yep, the Dingus. Dally Isabel. Yeah, all the eye genes are down here. Um, Doug Ferguson might be a good... Yeah, Doug Ferguson needs to make his way down here. Uh, Doug Ferguson also only has one more point of movement and is and is liable to be smashed by the ape. Although, there we go. We are going to want to make sure our stinky tail is up in, in full force. Um, We're not putting you near the stink or near the uh, near the ape. I don't want you getting smashed. All right, who else has stuff? Oh yes, you. Let's see, Diana Cell. Nope. Oh, Ike uh, Ferguson and her can breed. Well, in theory. Not with fertility like that. Oop, nope, nope, nope. Don't breed with her. Alright. Oh, these trees not growing back here. With all of our plants here, we'll just harvest grass. You're already spoken for. I think that's everybody that, that I want to move. <laughs> I remember, <laughs> I remember uh, uh, earlier, like uh, way, way early um, in, uh, in development, um, they would have it where you only spent um, you only spent food when you acted. So you still have the cap of three actions, but if you didn't use all three of those actions, you'd lose less food. And in that case, the optimal strategy became um, park people by stuff and never move them and just only have them eat. Uh -huh. So I think they, it was wise of them to change it to uh, one food per day per creature, regardless of what they do or whether or not they spend all their actions. <laughs> 
smack, smack. Yeah, you're sick. Did somebody else get sick? Alright, good. Get in the water and be a good boy and drown. Ooh, someone with a cracker jaw? Chomp. The fish are starting to swim away. Oop, dabble dabble. We're gonna be getting that step. Oh, double dabble! Ooh, a double dabble. Man, all this food, all this fish. This is why we went aquatic. And honestly, the uh, the duck bill is just gravy at this point. It's good gravy. It's good gravy. All right. Um. Oh, did you? Well, Amanda Ferguson is in need of some healing. Why don't you uh, lick to cure that bleeding? You guys a good breeding pair? Inky albino. Yeah, you guys would be a, a decent breeding pair. Oop, you got leeches. What else has a leech? You got a leech? Yep. Yeah, we can fix that. Ah, the creature that was going to uh, impregnate her never quite made it because they died of old age. Yeah, Diana Cell. Yeah, DC DC. That's a 50 50 of. Uh, of uh, not of uh, inbreeding there. That's not so good. Uh, CI versus DC. So many DCs. Yeah, I certainly didn't shake the ape tree. Right, it is Irma Dingus and uh, no, it can't be. It can't. It, could, it can't have been him. Who was going to impregnate somebody? I know he was. Doug Ferguson was going to come down here and. No, they share a D. Dally Isabel? No, not des dessert ice cream is without the ears. Carl Dingus, that's two males. Who is the female that I was gonna... Yeah, Herma Dingus and Doug Ferguson. That's not... That's not who I... Shona... Oh, he finally woke up. Do we have a, uh, a he oh, you are so lucky that there's a healing plant in order that we could uh, get your lifespan a little bit longer. Just a little bit. I mean, you've got some pretty decent stuff here, Shona, here. Uh, DC, again, with the D. I, D, D, F. C, A. Oh, C, A. There, there we go. Cody Alpine. I know I've been a little behind on renaming guys. I refer—I I didn't realize uh, when I when I thought that up uh, that the ongoing maintenance part of it would be a little cumbersome during an episode. Right. Hey, hey, our powers combined, we can do two points of damage. Oh wait, she had a claw. <laughs> she could have done one. 
All right, Doug Ferguson. Uh, well, since you are not particularly in the market for that, uh, I think it's time for you to uh, just get us some fruit there while we play Ring Around the Rosie with you. Oh, yeah. How'd we do here? Wow. Man, our color schemes are getting weird. Ooh, a BA. I have not seen that one in a while. And you're rocking the... You're you're like you're like a 50-50 split between the tribes here. Um oh, you know what? I didn't set their their uh, mutation genes. That's unfortunate. But at least we got the big ears out of the deal. That's good. Uh but let's set the mutation genes. Wait, he died? From what? I didn't think he was that old. Hang on. Did he seriously die? No. Charles Alpine and uh, Beth Dollop. Where's Charles Alpine? Oh, he's over here. I was about to say, it's like he wasn't that old. Jeez. All right. Yeah, let's get uh, let's get some. Well, here, let's analyze the genes uh, between these two. We've got some really good patterns coming out of these two. Um, we also have some good uh, letterings here. B D. CA. We got we got the original four immunity genes uh, rocking between these two. Um, so the we can at very least get the ABCDs, and then if we can get the I's and the F's and whatnot from the aquatic tribe, we can carry in all of our uh, uh, all of our gathered immunity genes that have been so crucial for us here. Uh, so, let's see here. You're gonna go here... I think... Yeah, I think I want to maximize baby production here. So I'm going to... Make a baby. Make a nest. And have it parked right next to some, some of the stinky fruit. And we'll clear away some of this stuff here. Get some good, good income here. Michael the second. Do we have anyone injured around here that could make use of all these healing plants that are in abundance? No, but there's a stinky tree over here that needs uh, tapping. Citrus alabaster doing the doing well here. So the I so um, I F. Do we have a, an I? An if creature, an iffy, an iffy aquatic creature. <laughs> I mean, we got I and F sort of combined in here, but no one specifically. Uh, and pretty soon, some of these aquatic creatures are going to need to start making babies on their own. Uh, female, 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 male. Oh, but you've got the, uh, you got the leech. Uh, how many moves do you have? Not enough to get the leech off. Well, you can always come up here and uh, uh, get a healing plant up here at some point. Yeah, that's out of here. Dally Isabel. Yeah. Might as well do try to do some digging. So many of these damn things. I mean, I'm not complaining, but jeez. Uh, Bella, Bella, you're uh, you've lived a good long life. Is there a is there a plant I can feed you to? Because that seems to make them full and therefore less hungry for our creatures proper, which is always a good thing. All right, Michael, Mr. Stinky. Yeah, you don't have the claws to uh, take out a buddy. All right, I think that is everyone. 
Um, so yeah, I think this is a good uh, good po stopping point here. We'll clear out our message board here. So um, we are gonna we're we're sort of uh, narrowing into these. I don't want to call it the end game of this, but yeah, getting there. My goals before we start far forming a migration party here is to get an IF. Um, a uh, set of, uh, or at least a good set of breeding, um, uh, breeding, uh, yeah, these guys, um, the aquatic, uh, tribe here, getting them a breeding pair of them, because I want to bring a, a male and a female aquatic, and then what I want to do is I want to build, bring a male and two females of my land-based party, and between the, all of them, um, you have the five of them come on up here. Uh, and see if we can make it in the deeper jungle. Because uh, I believe that is the island that, that, um, that this is going to lead us to. Uh, when you have the, the, uh, the twigs that make the, uh, the noise plus skeletons, that kind of tells me that that's, that's the uh, hard, harder or hardest jungle zone, which is what we're kind of prepping for, and also why I really want those stinky tails. Um, these stinky tails are going to be uh, absolutely crucial because we already have we already have the uh, the toxic body, which keeps the sight apes away from us. The stinky tails will keep the smelling apes away from us. So the only thing that we're really vulnerable to is uh, the hearing apes, which unfortunately we have two of them now on this island. But we're breeding in in such a manner that we are outpacing their face punching abilities. Um, and if I can start rocking velvet paws for our uh, for our land based tribe, that would take them out of the contention, and that would basically make us immune to the apes because we could sneak around them. Because while our our uh, our colors make us easy to spot, uh, how bright they are does not impact how how easy or hard it is for for someone to hear us. Uh, so you know, I think you can still get stealth, um, a sound based stealth, even if you're brightly colored. So yeah, that's where we're headed. Uh, so if you like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.